Now that House of the Dragon has reignited interest in Game of Thrones again, we wanted to look at what we expect the Jon Snow TV series to be about. Last time we saw Jon, the true heir to the Iron Throne, leaving the Seven Kingdoms with the Wildings beyond the Wall in exile. Now many have been speculating that with a spin-off sequel we could see more of Westeros and many of our favorite characters in cameos but what if that just isn't the plan? At least in the short term? In our concept with the defeat of the Night's King we could explore the land of always winter. In the books we know that Bran could only go so far at the heart of winter and that was it. We expect Jon and Tormund to be the lead characters and we would introduce Val from the books as Jon's new love interest. Since the Night King is dead, the story takes place a few years after Jon's exile. While it isn't as cold as it used to be, the free folk find their land isn't as fertile as they hoped it would be and food has become much more scarce without any animals to hunt, the people have begun to starve. The free folk decide it's time to head back south again but Jon wants to find a solution. It is known now that the land of always winter has been in a transition where it is no longer in ice and the land is drying up. Traveling to the land, they find a palace melting away and an ancient city of the Night King who controlled remnants of a land once ruled by ancient giants and children of the forest. As the free folk continue to explore the land they discover a massive underworld suspected to be as big as the Westeros continent itself. It's a world still inhabited by creatures unknown to the people of Westeros while some weren't of myth at all such as grumpkins and snarks told to frighten children, they just happen to be real. It is also a place where magic thrives. After several free folk go missing, Jon leads an expedition with Tormund and Val deep into the underworld. They first meet a sister race to the children of the forest, calling them the children of the underworld. We learn the children of the forest came from this underworld generations ago. The free folk are welcomed at first, but soon are met with danger as the children of the underworld are actually hostile and have used some of the life force of those who were missing. Our heroes would find that the children of the underworld have been guarding a powerful magical artifact that has the power to manipulate time and space and it could be only used once by the one who wields it. Jon Snow who has suffered through so much from losing his family in his life, to killing his love queen Daenerys, wants the artifact to undo all the wrong in his life, and undo the wrong done by D&D. &D. But he would have to choose only one event in his past. Facing danger from the children in the fierce creatures of the vast underworld, Jon eventually finds the artifact near the end of the show. He orders Val to destroy the artifact, and is then engulfed into a flash of light where he finds Queen Daenerys shortly before she burns King's Landing. He tells her how much he loves her, telling her she would lose her life here if she burns the city. She says she never would do such a horrifying thing even though she is tempted to. Jon convinces her that he is from a different time and she sees Jon in the distance from her time. He tells her that the city will surrender and she must marry Jon to unite the kingdoms. After the surrender of King's Landing, Daenerys is declared the new queen of the Seven Kingdoms, with the remaining houses pledging their loyalty. Jon from the future fades away. Bran meets with Jon in the present telling him he never wanted the crown but that he knew that Jon would undo what was never meant to be. Jon has no idea what he was talking about and Bran shows him a vision of the life he will never live. In the epilogue, John leads an expedition to the land of always winter to bury the gates of the underworld so that it could never be discovered. What did you think of this story? Would you have loved to see Game of Thrones Season 8 be fixed? Like subscribe and thank you for watching in the plot.